Hello everybody, this is GamerTag, your Willy, for another video tutorial. Today, I'll be teaching you how to access your file share for uploading your maps and screenshots and all that, and how to access my file share and how to get to it easier the next time you want to search up my maps. By the way, I'm using the mic that I use for my Xbox 360. Today I'm going to test it out for this tutorial and the next couple tutorials to see if it sounds better because the other mic was picking up my S's and P's a lot more than it should have and it started to make me sound like I had a lisp even though I don't. Um, I just pronounce my S's a lot because I live in Washington and so it's a Washington accent. And um, So leave in the comment below if it sounds better or worse than the other mic if it, you know, isn't as pronounced or if it's more pronounced let me know so let's get to this tutorial first to upload files onto your file share the easiest way to do it is by clicking start go to your file browser local files and here you can view all of your local files all your screenshots films maps and game types all in one place so I'm gonna go down to game types multiplayer and I'm gonna go to my king of the hill which has speedball so if I wanted to post speedball up on my file share, all I have to do is hit X, and right there you'll see upload to file share. So you can do that um, to upload it. Another thing, if you ever question if this map is really made by the person you're talking to, or if you downloaded it and you think it might be somebody else's map, you can also check it here in the file options. Click it and you see right there, created by your willy. That'll never change unless somebody modifies their Xbox and hacks or and breaks the map, basically. So it'll always say mod created by the real creator and when it was created by. If, like, let's say random snob downloaded my map and he changed a little bit of it and saved it, it would still say it's created by your willy, but it would say modified by random snob uh, this time. So always check that if you're unsure if the map's actually the person who says the map is from um, just a little side note just so you guys have a little bit more information while we're there you can also upload it when you're actually looking at the map so like if I go into like game type here and king of the hill and speedball and hit X there's the option right there as well and you can also view the creator and modifier now if you want to download my maps hit start go to file browser click on new custom search and file search or file share search and then just type in my gamer tag so type in your willy it doesn't need to be capitalized it auto capitalizes it properly and hit done and there's my file share you got all of my maps right there in order from when they've been posted so the newest ones will always be on top now, before you leave here, if you want to get back to my file share quicker, see at the very bottom of the screen there, it says save search. If you hit Y, it'll let you save the search and you can label it whatever you want. I usually label it the person who I was looking at. I'll go ahead and capitalize these just because this is a title. So I like capitalizing individual words and then hit done. Now, when you go see right underneath new custom search there's your willy now if I post a new file on my file share which I'm only gonna do for this tutorial so I'm gonna remove it right afterwards but um, let's go on Slayer I'm gonna upload Clone Wars which is just a random Slayer variation that I made just for the heck of it see my file share has a star just like you do when you view challenges so I know automatically okay my file share has Clone Wars in it but every one of you, when you go to your vile browser here, you'll see your willy, my, and I have a star, which means I uploaded a new map. So you don't have to search my maps every single day. You can just look on file browser and see, oh, hey, there's a new star this month. So that means he uploaded a new um, map or a new variant. So you can just click there, and it'll also separate it between screenshots, map variances, and game types too, which is even nicer than viewing everything at once. So, if um, that's one way you can do it, remember hit Y when, after you've done the search. Now, if you want to remove something from your file share, hit X on it, 
and just hit delete. Now don't worry, deleting it on your file share does not delete it from your hard drive. It's completely different. So if I hit delete here and remove file, it just removes it from my file share. My local files still has um, Clone Wars. So just remember that even though it says delete, it's not deleting it from your hard drive unless you're actually viewing it in your local files. Now I hope this tutorial helped you out. If you have any comments or questions, um, leave them below. Subscribe as always, and if you wish to see any of my other tutorials, click the menu button in the upper right hand corner there. And don't forget, let me know, does this mic sound better or worse than the mic that I was previously using? Um, respond as soon as you can, and I'll start using whichever mic you guys prefer. Talk to you all later. This is Gamertag, your Willie, signing off.